Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Today on the bench we have a box. And not just an ordinary box, we have a guitar box. Now this is a project that I'm going to be working on. This is going to be another uh, repair job. And uh, let's get it open right now and see what's going on here. I have never seen white duct tape before. Well, I guess if they make black duct tape, then they got white duct tape too, right? Can't be racist. So let's go over here and check this thing out. And I've got the box upside down because there's a lot of writing on the front of it. And I don't want to dox anybody. Why is this being difficult? Go. Corner's loose. This corner's loose. Now we should all be loose. This corner's still. Come on. There we go. Packed up pretty good, not bad. So let me put this off to the side. Let's pull this thing out. So ah, we've got a nice oops, something's up over here. Wow, this thing is really I messed up. We would see more Duncan. That's kind of nice. So we got a Sterling by Music Man Axis. And uh, this thing needs some help. Push pull pots. Got a nice scratch over here. Missing the back cover. Apparently, the wiring is all goofed up on this thing here. And I can kind of see. And see why. Wow, a lot of blobs solder all over the top of that switch. Now I got a cracked, cracked neck pocket here. Yeah, so this is going to be another one that I can kind of do, do what I want to do with it and uh, see what comes out of it. It does need some work. It does need some work pretty bad. I can't tell if this is worn. That's where my glass is at. Yeah, the glasses were around here somewhere. I doubt they are. Yeah, there's missing paint. They clear coated over this. There's missing paint here. I'm gonna check this out over here where this neck pocket is. Looks like somebody cut out or routed out over here. A little too much. Maybe put the wrong neck on this guitar. I'll have to check that out. Let me get rid of this box over here. Since this thing is basically no strings on it, I'm very curious to see what this neck is doing here. Something tells me that maybe this is not the right neck for this body. That's why it's rowdy weird and Kind of goofy. I want to say this is just a scratch, not a crack, but it might be a crack by the time I take this neck off and see what's going on. Pretty long, long ass screws, that's for sure. See, this neck doesn't feel right. It kind of overhangs the body a little bit on this side. And we got different screws here. That one screw that's a little bit different. This one here looks more like a neck screw than the rest of these do. 
So let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah, she's cracked a little bit. Trying to make it the truss rod fit maybe. Frets don't look too bad at all. Looks like there might be a little bit of a clear coat on the fretboard. Basic tuners made in China. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so we got a spring-loaded pad that's behind. I'm gonna pull these pickups out. Should be able to do that pretty easily. Yeah, wrong screws, that's for sure. Oh, kind of like that. Spring loaded. It's got DiMarzio. DiMarzio pickup, made in USA. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, I gotta see about this. I might have to open this up a little bit more. Yeah, somebody's really been in here. So shim in the neck pocket right here. And get that out. Now oh, it's crumbling. It's like a piece of plastic in there. Well, the crack does not. That's on the back of it. Does not show up here. So that's kind of a good sign. Bridge don't look too bad. that we have back here a straw that's kind of interesting huh now I've seen everything got a McDonald's straw back here behind a pickup wow somebody really reamed a hole in this thing holy shit Oh, I'm surprised I didn't see that before when I looked at the back. Somebody had some ideas for this thing and didn't quite make it work. Three-way switch. Why would there be a three-way switch on here? This one was splitting the humbuckers into a single coil, two single coils with this, and then what's the purpose of the switch there? Wow, real shitty soldering job. Look at how far some of these wires are stripped over here. Like this one right here is really, really, really stripped. If you can see that or not. Too much far back. Yeah, this thing's gonna be needed rewire. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy. Could use a nice sanding on it. Is this a actual binding or is this paint? That is paint. This binding is painted on. at the sides over here you can kind of tell let's see here now if I scrape this corner over here and I find wood and that's a painted on binding
No, it's binding. It's plastic binding. It kind of looks like it was painted on. Alright, so she's going to need some work. i got to figure out the neck with this area over here. Somebody kind of ground, took a grinder and kind of ground, grinded out the wood over here. Left this piece here for some reason, instead of taking it both off. The pickup does not fit in properly when the neck is installed. See, that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking this, but this has been routed out to fit this. So the pickup itself, I'll flip this this way, this is only temporary just to see how well this is going to fit in here. There is no room at all between that pickup and that wheel for the adjustments. So something is up with this. Something is going on. And if this doesn't fit in there quite right, or it needs to go in. I know it's loose. So let's see if there's a back bow on this neck. Well, the neck is pretty straight, not bad. It's got a little bit of a bit of a gap in the center of it, but not much. Let's see here. And I want a key that's going to fit this hole. Unless somebody did something with this truss rod that they added another washer or something in it to fix something. Okay, so now we got a back bow. We got a good back bow. And I didn't suck that in any further, so. Hmm. Looks like there's a lock washer in there. It's coming out. Slowly, but it's coming out. Let's see here. Give me one of my powerful magnets. Which I don't understand why they added this washer in there. It's a spacer, it's not really a washer. It's, there's no piece of wood that that is pushing on as far as adjustments go, and this is going to go in. It's going to go in a lot more and clear that pickup. So that's kind of strange. I don't know why you did that or who did that. So if I tighten this up, I'm bending the shit out of this Allen key. I don't care. It's an extra. So I tighten this up and it should still give me a nice back bow. Yeah, the truss rod is working fine without that washer. And the wheel goes in a little bit further now, clearing that pickup.
Yeah, I don't understand. There's a piece of metal inside of there that the wheel pushes up against. There is no wood that the wheel is going to push up against. It's just pushing up against, looks like another washer, another piece of metal. So I want to see if that comes out as well. See if I can dig that thing out of there. And uh, so now I'm back straight. Back to the way it was before. A little bit of a gap in the center. Yeah, so I'm going to dig that out of there. Well, not dig, but get it to come out. And see if this wheel will go in any further. The wheel looks like it's, you know, it's been out. It's dirty on one side of it. So right where my fingernail is is basically where the dirt line ends. And it's clean where it was inside the neck. So if I screw this in. Where does that stop at? Pretty damn near close. So the dirt line goes inside of the neck now instead of being outside. So that washer's been for a while. <laughs> Otherwise, this is workable. I can fix it. Do a number with this body. See if I can get rid of a lot of these, these some of these cracks and scratching. Looks like someone hitting. All right, so there's somebody hit this with a buffer, and the buffer burned through the wood, which actually looks like there's a nice piece of wood in here. Wow. Man, somebody really did a number with this with a drill bit. I can fix this hole too. I can get rid of that hole and put a the hole that's supposed to be inside of here going to the control cavity. I can get rid of that. The one thing I like about epoxy resin. And let's see. I don't think I have another one of these bridge this type of a bridge. If I do, I think I have one that's in chrome. These blades are fixable. They're not in bad shape. These are still locked in pretty good, so that's not a big deal. I am going to have to get them out. Sleep, get these sleeves out of here. So all in all, it is in rough shape. But it's not in bad shape. It is repairable. And I'm wondering how, how much uh, the owner likes black. Because I might be changing this. Especially if I sand the top down and I find that there is a nice piece of nice piece of wood underneath this. So let me check that out real quick. Let's see what I got for I need a 220 right here. something that's abrasive. I gotta remove this though. Let's see what this what this looks like underneath this. I'm gonna be refinishing it anyway so <laughs> Books.
Phone lovers are probably loving this. All right, so. Sanding the sealer? Yes, it is. So that's sanding the sealer right there. <coughs> oh, isn't that nice? Now, why would you want to cover that up? That looks really good. And it may be a two-piece body or a one-piece. don't know. But why would you want to cover that up? That looks really nice. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So I am going to sand this top down. And we'll see what happens afterwards. I don't know. Because I, I like this. I like this a lot. This has got some really nice figuring in it. And hold on. Okay, so I spoke too soon. Here is a line right here. Two separate pieces of wood. 
I don't see one on this side. I kind of see it right here. So this is not a one-piece body, but they did a nice job as far as kind of like mix matching the wood. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks pretty good. Hmm. I got some ideas running around in my head. All right, so that's that for this new project. Uh, I have to take care of the figure out what's going on with the neck between the pickup and what this wheel is. Um, I'm probably going to end up knocking that out and then cutting it straight um, because it's, I don't have a piece of wood that I can put in here that will possibly match this at all. Uh, I don't want to say that this is mahogany. I'll have to look it up. Kind of resembles a little bit with some of the textures that's inside of it in the wood, the figuring itself. But it may not be mahogany because mahogany is a little bit more on the redder side, especially when you wet it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what to do because this has got a nice chip in it over here, and I don't like that. And if I'm going to, and if I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do with this, and then give it a nice epoxy, thin coat of epoxy on top of it, then uh, yeah, I can't have any little shit like this where it's black there. So I'll have to figure this out a little bit, do a little bit more sanding on this corner. But yeah, it came off, I'm using uh, 220 grit sandpaper and then this came off pretty easily, I like that. And this looks very nice when it's wet. And I can dye this any color that I want and it'll still have, show the wood through it, which would be kind of nice, but Again, there are some issues with this that I'm going to have to take care of and fix because of, uh, yeah, it's in a little rough shape, but it is fixable. So thanks for watching, and uh, this is the next project.